Hello everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of Jade Coon's Story of the Tamamayu. I am your host, Rabbit, and whew, I had a really long weekend to tell you guys the truth. I worked the entire time, and this job is just not what I was expecting it, so already I have another interview with a different position this upcoming Thursday, so keep your fingers crossed for me and channel positive energy my way. I am presently working on another university campus, and I just don't think I can handle freshmen anymore. Like, I just can't deal with university kids. They just drive me insane, and it isn't the incessant partying or just their general fuckwittery. It's just like, I don't know, maybe I'm just getting too old and crass and... I'm just a negative Nancy now, but I just find it too stressful. I don't like working with students. I don't like teaching, so I'm done. I'm hopefully going to get an exec job and maybe be doing something more in analysis and data entry and research because I think that would suit my personality a bit better. But anyway, this is like an intro about my life when you guys are here to watch me play Jade Cocoon. So that is what we're going to do. Keeping up with tradition, it is 5.12 a.m. because I do have to be at work at like 8 30 a.m. well I have to leave here by 8 30 because I'm working in a town that's about 30 minutes away it's like 30 miles ish so yeah where we last left off together with this we ended up finally I guess imprisoning the divine tree which had been kind of our goal but I did a lot of like minion stuff on the side but we finally accomplished that and all hell broke loose and to be quite honest the story is a little bit Odd. I'm not 100% sure what took place and what's the deal with Mother Garai. It seems like maybe she's kind of an adversary, but at the same time, her goal is devout and it's good. So I, I don't know. You guys can just refer to the previous video. If you're joining me for the first time, you're like, what the fuck is she talking about? So I currently have on me Preston Bieber and Sherrick. Why did I bring Sherrick? don't know why don't I have skittle man because I'm not gonna have a chance to switch out my minions for quite a long time so I need to level him up I guess maybe I just thought I wanted a fire minion I don't know guys I don't know and none of you called me out on it so anyway before we actually go into the moth forest some of you had suggested that I go back to the spider forest because one of my videos uh, it was titled, Why Are There No Spiders Here? or something like that. And uh, a couple of you PM'd me and said, actually, if you go back to the spider forest, after all the shit goes down, there will be two new spider minions. And like one of them has a really nice move, I guess, that you can't find on other creatures. So I'm going to come and grab this asshole. So yeah. This is one of them, and then the other one you guys said is like yo Alk or something, so I'm kind of nervous about this. I am unsure about this Sherrick choice. I'm not even sure what I was thinking when I brought him, but we will see. Okay, let's see. Do -do 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 -do. It only hits one person though. Whoops, what does this do? Well, I don't want to kill them immediately. See, I should have brought Beyonce. Well, let me see what this does to this guy. If it kills him, then that's gonna suck balls. <gasps> oh, well it didn't, so that's good. Well, hopefully you guys are doing okay. As has been requested, I will show you guys some of the fights. I have a lot that I kind of want to get done on camera though. Since I'll only get to record between like one and two videos this morning, like I said, it's about 5 a.m. and I do have a couple other things to do. I do want to try to start recording for my other LP as well because a few of you have asked um, if I can have two things going on at once um, in higher frequency than the Legend of Dragoon videos are coming. And Andrew and I do intend to sit down this week and just record for like two or three hours. So hopefully I'll get a good set of videos out of that that I'll be able to release incrementally over the span of the next week or two. Which is highly frustrating for me because I love that game. It's one of my favorites, but you guys know how it goes. Okay, Sherry, you gotta get the fuck out of here. 
and it's fine because now I've lived on. And see, here's a tricky thing that a couple of you have been mentioning, and I mean, it just makes sense. Since now I don't have the option of really going back, I have to be really mindful of what minions I'm catching, how many of them I'm capt capturing, because I only have a limited set of 12 empty cocoons, and I have to like make that last because there are two new ones here, the Nivon, and then the other one's called like Yoalk or Yolk or something, it's with a Y. So I have these two guys to capture here, and then in the Moth Forest, I believe there are six new ones. So, you know, that's a total of eight new minions that I'm looking at, and I have to figure out, because I can't have two of every single one like I've been doing in the past, because I can't go back, so. <sighs> it's really aggravating, and I want to create another special slash rare monster called Twingo. So I don't know what to do. I'm probably gonna capture... I know you guys are like, what is she gonna do? I'm like thinking about this, because I obviously have not strategized prior to starting recording. I think I'll capture... Mm, I'll capture one of this guy, and... Maybe I'll get two of the other one. Let me just bring him down. I would like to have one of my minions finish him off here. Maybe Sherrick? Oh, whoops. Or, you know, Levant will kill him and no one gets XP. That's fine. See, so, okay, we caught Nivon and then Yolk, Yolk, Yolk should be next on the list. And I'm not sure where this thing will be, but it shouldn't be too hard to just run through here and find it. This game really <laughs> likes to basically dangle the carrot in front of you, and it's like, oh, look at all these nice new minions, but you're limited to how many of them you can have, which really does suck. Okay, I have no idea where Yolk is going to be, so you guys have to excuse me if I'm running around. Okay, I bet... I'm gonna go to the second area where the divine tree was and he might be chilling over there. Let's give that a try. And then I swear we'll go straight to the moth forest after I capture, um, I might get, wait, is this Nivon or? Yeah, it is. Okay, I won't make you guys watch this. You already saw me catch one, so I'll be right back. I think off camera I need to also take Sherrick and get him up to like level maybe? 11 or 12. I wonder if I can still summon Kiki Knock or if he's like not even gonna be there anymore since shit has gone down. I think this is another one of those Nivon things. I'm not sure what the other one looks like. And why do they only have six legs if they're spiders? It's kind of weird. Okay, I know going up is the way that takes us to the divine tree, but let me run down this way and see if the other spider is chilling here. Somewhere here anyway. No, it still looks like the yellow one. I bet the other one's probably red. I'm completely pulling that out of my ass, so I have no idea if that is the case. But the other one is the one that allegedly we want. Kind of like Sherrick has the spell that will instantly kill an enemy, or it has a chance of instantly killing an enemy. Apparently, the Yolk minion possesses this spell as well, so you can obviously merge him with something that you have and grant them that skill as well. So let's keep trudging through this area and see if one pops up. And is it just me or does this fucking forest look a little bit different? That's probably him. Let's see. Yes, it is. And he is fire and he's pink, not red. We'll go ahead and get Preston. I want to try and capture two of these. I think that's probably the way to go. So if that's the case, I will have used three of my spaces, which, uh, that's so aggravating, guys. I really don't want to kill this thing, but let me see how much damage my weak water spell does. Ooh. Okay, I might just, oh God, he's trying that shit with me. Yeah, let's, let's not. Okay, okay, let's switch to Levant and capture this douchebag. Come on, Levant. 
Alrighty. So yeah, anyway, if I capture two of these guys, plus I have the one Navon, that will leave nine left that I can kind of spread out the other minions. And like I said, I want to also make Twingo. It's another special minion that you can't just catch. It's like Sherrick. And I know that some of the minions I have to go back and recapture because I was stupid and I didn't leave spares in my storage. I think I have one or two that I had left on Mabu, but I, and I'm pretty sure that carries over. So I don't think I have to have Mabu in order to access those when, once I am in the position to actually mess with my minions again, but I guess we'll see. Okay, there's nothing here. Maybe he'll reappear, maybe not. And yeah, it's so early, guys. My sleep schedule will not return to normal at all. And especially with this job, it's been even worse because as I had previously mentioned, the work that I'm doing with the university, it's in a nearby town. It's like 30 some miles away. So it can take anywhere from, you know, half an hour to 45 minutes to get there, just depending on traffic and all that other jazz. What does this do again? Oh, yeah. So it's been, I mean, not really difficult because I'm up anyway, but after working, you know, I'm on my feet all day because I've been doing the program planning and a little bit of the, um, like, outreach stuff. Pretty much some of what I had been doing while I was working on my master's and I was a GA at my university's health center. I'm essentially doing that, but this time it's kind of on a grander scale. It's not really just focusing on health. It can be working with clients who want to advertise something to students. So, for example, the program that I was working on Friday, it's part of like a big back to school event thing, and it's going to extend from last Friday to this Wednesday. So today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, I'm also going to be working this. And essentially, the goal is we, I guess, collaborate with a vendor, and you want to get students to participate in whatever promos the vendor has going on and usually it benefits the students. The main thing that I had been working on Friday was with a local, it's like a cable and internet company. And yeah, sorry guys, I'm just using the hunter's earring to get out of here really fast. Since I caught the two yolks and I got the one Navon and I'm going to go ahead and fucking save because that's turned out to be okay, so I don't want to fuck that up. But yeah, so, um, la 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 la, come on, Levants, you know you want to save. So essentially, the, the benefits of working with the vendors that come, you know, it really is advantageous for the students to take a hold of some of the promos that they have going on, so that kind of stuff is fun. And yeah, I know, I'm just going to take a second and run over and see if I can visit Kiki Nat. I'll let this video go ahead and be a little bit shorter anyway, so if you guys read, or read, I guess I should say, because if you're at this point, you've been watching this whole thing, but if you read the description and you're like, I don't really want to see her go back to the spider forest just to capture minions, then you don't have to watch this. You can skip to the next video where we will go to the moth forest, and I don't want to fight you. Alright, let me quickly just give someone that fucking oil. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see, guys. Where is this shit? And yeah, I still have that fucking spare skeleton key because I'm really bad and I couldn't find that other chest. And, uh, okay, yeah. Looks like it's going to Preston. Which makes it look like I am demonstrating preferential treatment. But Preston is my boy, I'm not gonna lie. He's been there with me from the very beginning. But yeah, so I was mentioning uh, Twingo is another special minion you can make, like Sherrick. And I can't remember off the top of my head what the combinations are for him, but I'm pretty sure I actually need a Teralco. I'll figure it out in a second. B R B. I swear, Kiki Nuck had better be there, or I'm going to be really pissed off. But what I think I'm going to end up doing is I will wait to capture the minions that go into making Twingo until after I ensure I have everyone that I want from the Moth Forest because, I mean, it's not 
that dire that I do that. And I'll try to look up the recipe. I know someone sent it to me, but I cannot remember off the top of my head what it is. Let me see. Can I get him? Whoops. For fuck's sake. I hope he'll come talk to me. Oh, wow. Yeah, not even Kiki Knock will appear. All right, guys. Well, sorry for wasting your time then. We'll go ahead and just cut the video here uh, just to try to consolidate everything by, I don't want to say topic or theme, but we will leave this at me revisiting the spider force to capture the two, or I guess I should say three because I caught three, uh, but recapturing the spiders that I did. I'm going to go ahead and save. Although I guess I didn't need to, but oh god, that's so awful because... I was hoping I'd be able to do some quick leveling for Sherrick because I do not want him to die. I'm really wondering why the fuck I chose to bring Sherrick along instead of Beyonce or Skittle Man. Who the fuck knows what I was thinking, but nevertheless, guys, thank you so much for watching. When we come back, we're going to actually progress and go to the Moth Forest. I don't know what to expect. Everyone's got me kind of scared because a lot of you have been saying, oh, it's really, really bad and it's really, really scary and all the minions are tough. So we'll see how I manage on the next video. I will see you guys in just one sec.